Hi, I'm Jim Clark. Welcome to Cross Country Weekly. Rob Mazzico, head cross country coach. This week, the GLIAC. Last week, an off week. What do you guys do during the off week? Um, just pretty much workouts. Um, we still run pretty hard that week. Um, like I said last week, we had a workout plan for Tuesday and Friday. Um, a really intense workout on Friday kind of stimulates, um, simulates racing the best we can and tune them up this week. This week, conference championships, a little different for our, for our runners. Um, never this type of competition before. I would imagine overall, how does it rate with what they've seen in the past? Um, it, it's going to be different. Um, you're going to see a lot more town, a lot more depth uh, at the Division II level. Uh, once we uh, step foot out there, it's, it's like no other meet. Um, but it, it is like some meets that we've run. I mean, when we step on the course at National Catholic Meet, we're running a lot of Division One, a lot of Division Two schools. When we step on the course at the All Ohio meet, we're running everyone in Ohio. So, have we seen this competition? Yeah, we have. Uh, but in the conference setting, no, not even close. Who's the front runner in this bunch? Uh, Grand Valley way? State, both men and women. Grand wow. Valley State's ranked number one in the region, ranked high in the nation. Uh, they've won the last three years. Um, and then next, Ferris State, Wayne State, both in the men and women's race. Um, I think in the men's side regionally last week, five of the top ten uh, Midwest region schools were GLIAC schools. And on the women's side, seven out of the ten wow. were GLIAC schools. So we, we have one of the toughest conferences in the nation. And we're excited to get in there uh, and race these guys and women. And then we'll, uh, you know, you throw Malone in there too. So, I mean, Malone's traditionally very, very strong. So they're going to be another team that would probably be ranked regionally right now if we were allowed to be ranked. How about the course? You know, it, it, something about the course at all that might help you out at all? I know nothing about the course. Um, we still don't have a course map. Um, other than the fact that I know it's on a golf course up in uh, outside of uh, Midland, Michigan, that's all I know right now. So we will be on the course on Friday. Okay. Uh, we leave Friday morning and we'll go to the course and there's an unofficial uh, jog through. Um, the team will be on the course and then I have a coaches meeting at the race site. And so we will see the course, but not until right before the race. You've done so well. Um, you, you want the Yoders and, and the Grubers to have a good race this first time out. Oh, definitely. I mean, especially with Lissa. I mean, Lissa, this being her last year, it's kind of unfortunate that it's not, you know, you know, official, official. But it really is. I mean, we qualify for GLIAC awards if we were to be able to get into the placing that uh, qualifies you for those, but overall, it's um, it's going to be exciting, and we should have you know for Justin, um, we should have a guy up there competing. Uh, we do have a front runner. We have a kid that can run 25 flat for 8K, and it's been a few years since uh, we've had that here at Walsh. And also great for the young kids to get this type of an experience now. Yeah, like we talked last week, the uh, the 6K second time around for the mm -hmm. freshman women is going to be a lot easier, I I would think, uh, and then for the men. Um, there's only one freshman in the varsity race, but I think with Matt Thiessen, he's going to uh, excel. Thanks, Rob. Thank you very much. And good luck in both races. I appreciate it. That's our Cross Country Weekly. Jim Clark here. I'll talk to you next week.